Hi, in this screencast we're going to talk about setting a background image using CSS. Using a background image is a clever way to decorate your web page because with a background image you're just occupying the background of your page. And if you need to put more text or images on your page you can do so. So let me show you an example. Inside my CSS folder I have an image header.gif. Obviously, if you want to have a background image, you need to provide an image. And this image is actually just the top header section of ogsolution.com. Okay, let's close this. And let's see how we can uh, incorporate that image into our index.html. Let's open this index.html with top style. And so you see that I have a blank HTML file. And uh, let's just set up that class. Okay. Let's name it BG image. We have to set up a class first. And then we can set up the rule for background image. So with top style you can do prefill like this. Double click this. So it's background dash image colon and then it allows you to choose between none or choose image. Um, when you choose none, it basically means uh, there are no background image. And uh, or you can just choose an image. Okay, double click. And top style will look into the same folder as your HTML page and it finds header for me. Okay, so let's click that and then click open. So you'll see that the rule is URL, parentheses, inside the parentheses is the path to your image. Okay. And of course, if it's not at the same, if the image is not at the same level as your HTML page, um, you can do images slash header dot GIF. So that means the image uh, is inside the images folder inside your CSS folder. Okay? But this is not the case. So this is not what we want. And let's apply this class to the body tag. Okay? And so let's do class. And we can do prefill. Okay? And then it finds BG image for me. And let's apply that to the body. Inside body, let's not do anything. Let's keep doing BR. Okay? And let's see what we uh, get. Save it. Minimize it. Let's double click the index and then view it in your browser. And you see um, actually images are being applied um, repeatedly, okay, because it's all throughout the page. Okay. Uh, this may not be the uh, best way or the right way to use your image. Okay, but uh, it, I'm just using it to um, prove a point. Okay, and uh, let me just show you very quickly. Okay, let me minimize this, bring back top style, and instead of um, using it to a uh, my body tag, okay, let's create a container uh, div. Okay, and inside this div. Let's do inline style, okay, equals, and then let's do um, width 100%, okay, let's just do that, and then bring the line breaks inside the div container, save it, minimize it, bring back the Firefox, and then refresh. Hold on. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to uh, assign the class. That's why there are no images. Okay. Minimize it and refresh. So you see that the background is being applied. 
inside the container. Okay, let me bring back top style. And let's put more BRs. Okay, and you can see, save, minimize, refresh. You'll see that as I do more line breaks, more space is being occupied, and that's why uh, the background is uh, being extended. Okay, so the background only lives within occupied uh, space. Okay, and uh, that's the basics of uh, applying background image. Okay, that's it for this screencast. Thank you.